Chris Chinook, CES 2014 for Display Central. Uh, I've just had a, uh, a demo with, uh, with the Dolby folks on their high dynamic range or extended dynamic range, as they call it. Um, they showed actually very, a very good uh, demo uh, to a side-by-side to -side, um, comparison between a standard um, a Rec. 709 100-nit monitor using their reference monitor that they have, um, and then the, the extended dynamic range, which has um, about 4,000 nits of peak brightness uh, and was, and was regraded uh, for the content, uh, several pieces of content uh, at that brightness level. Uh, so they went through the comparison, uh, running these things simultaneously to show the differences um, uh, both in the, in the dynamic range, but also in the colors because that's part of the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the specification here is they can extend the color gamut of these things or certainly make the colors look much more vibrant. Um, they had some really good examples uh, of specular reflections off of an airplane, of a blue sky being much more bright, of a sun being much more powerful, uh, of flowers uh, having much more vibrancy and color um, in the, in the, again, in the, high, in the extended dynamic range uh, model. Um, so that was a, a, an excellent demonstration. Uh, and then they said, uh, obviously, we've got to transfer these, uh, this content, this extended dynamic range content, to co consumer TVs. They have a whole codec that uh, you can read about in other uh, posts that I've uh, written about that. Uh, and so to show how this gets translated in TV, they had two side-by-side um, uh, -side demos up there, again showing the Rec. 709 100-nit grade uh, um, one uh, monitor versus the high dynamic range version of on the other uh, TV. These were two sharp elite TVs. Uh, one was kind of in the, in the THX mode uh, for the 709 grade, and the other was in the dynamic range uh, mode. Uh, and so what, what the, as the information comes in um, from, uh, uh, from their codec and gets decoded, it includes metadata and it includes a map um, to be able to take this information of this, uh, of this wide dynamic range signal and map it to the capabilities of that particular display. That particular sharp elite display has a peak brightness of about seven or 800 nits. Um, so it's clearly not gonna be as impactful as the 4,000 nit reference monitor, um, but it's supposed to map it to the capabilities of that TV. Um, what I saw um, was uh, what seemed to be uh, scene by scene uh, faithful replication of the high dynamic range uh, signal, uh, s meaning some scenes seem to do a, a, a good job of replicating the grade on the 4,000 nit monitor within the limitations of that dy not dynamic range and color space, but other scenes didn't. Uh, some flesh tones looked washed out, others looked good. Um, I saw similar uh, results on a couple other uh, uh, monitors that they had, TVs they had out in another part of the, uh, of the suite, uh, one from TCL and one from, uh, I think it was Sharp, and the, the, the new Sharp monitor, both 65 inch. Um, so it, it, it obviously every scene is not high dy dynamic range and every scene doesn't have extended color gamut, um, but uh, it seemed to be um, like the mapping process was a little inconsistent at this point. It would be perhaps, perhaps what's going on. Um, the other thing that I think that Dolby is doing a good job of is, is working in the standards community. They're starting to work with Sempty now uh, to bring in uh, the extended dynamic range as part uh, of the, uh, the EBU um, uh, BT2020 specification. There's no spe specification for that uh, right now. Uh, they're also working in, in the post-production packages to insert the tools to be able to capture the metadata and, again, working with Sempty to create a standard to, to be able to move that metadata all the way through the pipe uh, right to the consumer home um, because you have to use that to really set uh, that mapping properly to the capabilities of the TV. Uh, so that's pretty much the story from the Dolby suite at this point. Uh, very impressive. Uh, this is the... Uh, uh, going to be the start of, I think, of a very, uh, very interesting revolution in uh, in TVs. Uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.